How's it going, boys? We're back. And before we get started, subscribe, like, share, definitely subscribe, definitely like, definitely share. Like I tell you guys, I'm going to keep on telling you guys. I talk about a lot of cool shit, so you know, however my number's up. And today, boys, I'm coming at y'all with a new video. Um, I'm going to be doing kind of like a reveal because there's a new set list that came out. And my prediction on, you know, what rarities are going to be in the set list. Because um, as of the recording of the video, they've officially revealed the set list for the two new, uh, you know, mini sets. The time set and the space set. Um, I don't really know, like, the actual names right off the top of my head. Because I always am messing up. It's either Time Spiral and Space Juggler. But I'll put, like, the official names right here. But it's the two sets revolving around Daaga and Palkia. Uh, the origin forms from the Legend of Arceus, and they look pretty neat. I'm not going to lie. Um, it took a little bit for me to, you know, grow on them or for them to grow on me, but they're pretty decent now, you know, now that I'm looking at them, especially with the cards, you know, just my imagination of how pretty, the, you know, cards are going to be coming out in the future of them. So I'm pretty excited. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Um, so I'm going to be showing you guys first the cards in the set and then telling you guys, you know, what rarities I expect or, you know, predict to be for each one of the cards that are coming out. Um, so let's get right into it. As you guys know, I don't have a P, uh, what's it called? D, uh, DBS, PBS, OBS, whatever it be. Um, so this is what we're going to do right here. Good old iPad. Um, but we got um, Snevel's uh, Evolution. I'm so sorry. I forgot his name. Um, but he's creepy as hell. I'm not going to lie. He's creepy as hell. Um, but I just can imagine, like, the alternate art that they're going to give him. And, like, my brain is, like, exploding. Um, so, yes, I do think alternate arts are going to be back in the set. I don't think they're going to do character rares. I think they're going to do character rares and specialty sets, but not necessarily, like, you know, main sets. Like, these half sets and, the, you know, like, the, the mini sets over there in Japan. So, I do think alternate arts are going to be back. And I think every single set, uh, the basic, you know, formula is going to be um, either two or four trainer full arts. I'm thinking two. I'm leaning more to two. But we'll see here in a minute. And then that one, you know, is a hardcore prediction. Um, but I do think the main, you know, box art is going to get all the special treatments from alternate B to gold v star you know going both ways and then there's going to be one random v in each set that's going to get an alternate art um not a character rare no you know nothing like that i think it's going to get an alternate art um right now i'm thinking that character rares are the way of the future but we're going to get them in specialty sets down the line maybe in our you know climax uh you know super what's it called you know, secret set that's going to come out in December over there in Japan. But for right now, I think they're going to stick to the alternate arts, which for me personally, that's the way they should go. Um, but like I said, I think there's going to be four total between both sets and it's going to include one of them and it's going to include the, what's it called? The, the box hearts. So let's get right into it. So this guy right here, as far as like the Palkia set, this is the one that I think is going to get the alternate art. Um, I think he has, like, you know, like, the most reason to get alternate art just because the sets are revolved around Legend of Arceus, and there's just so much they can do. They can literally have this guy on top of a mountain or climbing a mountain and have that as an alternate art. So I think they're going to, you know, pick this guy for sure. Um, one other reason why they think they're going to pick this guy is because he got a generic five-band graphics, you know, kind of like, you know, illustration. Um, but as far as, like, you know, rarities and all that stuff, I think he's going to get a full regular full art this version and then the alternate art and that's like you know my pick for you know like the pocket set of course including pocket so let's get right into the next one so we got oringaroo right here he's also part of the pocket set and he looks pretty creepy i'm not going lie um <laughs> just like uh i like i like the you know they didn't go you know full five band even though i do like you know the computer stuff um but look at his hands yeah that's a lot of detail <laughs> But I know there's probably somebody out there that likes it. But, yeah, he's pretty cool. Um, I'm not going to do the translation for all of them. I w really wish I would have taken a couple more seconds so I could do the translations. Um, but he's a draw engine. Uh, Rangaroo usually is a draw engine. So, I'm pretty excited for that. I don't know how viable he's going to be in the TCG or in the meta. Um, but he is a draw engine. So, I'm pretty excited for that. But I don't think he's going to get anything crazy. I think he just gets a full art and then this rarity. Um, all right, so we're going to Wilder. Wilder's pretty cool. 
I'm not going to lie. And also, like I said, I didn't read his translation, but he's been out for a while. So hopefully it's already been out there in another video. Uh, but uh, what's it called? Yeah, Wilder is going to be another one of those cards that I think, I don't know right off the top of my head, but I think he's going to get the alternate art treatment nod in the Diablo set. Um, I know they already did a Wilder character rare, but I think they're going to do an alternate art treatment for him. And just because, once again, he got a generic, you know, art. And I, it feels like, you know, like, this is such a heavy, you know, Arceus set that I think they gave it to him. Um, but he's pretty cool. And if anything, I mean, he is for sure going to get the alternate. I mean, what's it called? The full art version of himself. So, you know, that's cool. So then we got Jirachi, which I hope I'm wrong. And they give it to him because literally a Jirachi alternate art will completely, like, that will break the internet for like a good five hours. Um, but Jirachi um, is coming back to the CCG. Um, he's one of the ones that I really wish I would have read the translation. I'm going to put the translation up right here. Um, and also put my thoughts on, you know, the ability right here. Um, just because usually Jirachi is really, really playable in the TCG. So there's that. So if you guys want to pause and, you know, read it, you're more than welcome. But him, even though I wish they would give him the alternate art treatment, I think he's only going to get a full art. Which, either way, is probably going to be such a beautiful full art that people are going to be like, yo, that's dope. Um, so, Jirachi is back. And then here's Luxury. And Luxury is by far Chef's Kiss. My favorite art in this whole set. Um, look at it. I mean, just look at it. It has, like, the Fusion Strike kind of vibe to it. Um, it's not a Fusion Strike card, but it has, like, the Fusion Strike, you know, art to the background where he's in the city and all this other stuff. It looks so dope. Um, this is another one that I wish would get the alternate art, you know, nod. But I just don't see it. I, I don't see them, you know, picking him. Um, definitely Pokemon. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but they usually pick one really cool Pokemon to give an alternate art to. And then the other one's like, why did you give it to him? That was weird. Um, but I think he's going to be, you know, he's going to get a full art treatment. But as far as an alternate art, I don't think he is. But these sets, he's the last one to the Dalga set. So each one of these sets only gets two or three regular Vs without a V Star or a V Max. And these five were it. And like I said, if I'm, you know, locking in my predictions, I think he, him, and him, I think they're going to, or them, are going to get the alternate art treatment. Um, I think all of them are just going to get the full art. So now let's go to the V-Maxes real quick and talk about them for a minute. Look at that. Machamp. And he's been out for a couple weeks, so I'm not going to spend too much time on him, but this is beautiful. And I'm so happy that they are going to finish up all the V-Maxes that they're, uh, what's it called, missing. So I'm pretty excited. And I'm as of right now, I am predicting that every single set that comes out or main set that comes out for the rest of the year is going to include VMAXs in it. So I'm 1,000% okay with that. Um, and as far as rarities, I think he doesn't get the alternate art nod. I think what they do with some of these cards, including Jirachi, is that they're going to hold them in the you know in the chamber for later this year to release them with the character rare. And that's kind of you know, my prediction with the ones that don't get an alternate art nod with these, you know? Um, but I don't think he gets an alternate. I think he just gets a full art, which is absolutely fine. So I'm okay with that. Here's a Machamp VMAX. And guys, they did their thing with this VMAX. Um, the angle just in general where they have it, you know, kind of like, you know, facing down. I think that just helps that out so much from like the generic, you know, VMAX angle where, they, you know, they're facing up to show that this, uh, you know, a giant Pokemon. Um, and they did such a good job with this card. Um, this one, as far as rarities, I think it gets the regular rarity and it gets a rainbow. Uh, I do think rainbow V Max is going to be back for this set. And I think he gets the rainbow treatment as far as alternate or anything like that. He's not the box art, so he's for sure not going to get anything special, but I can see them coming back to this. Like I said, going with like the Jirachi and the Machamp V that they do give him a character where somewhere down the line, like I said, maybe the high class set of the, of the winter this year. Um, Heatran, um, and Heatran V Max. They're the next ones up on the plate. These are the ones from the Palkia set. And I did notice that this is a Mr. Hero Arita set. I mean, um, art. So that's pretty cool. Um, but Heatran, um, it's more like the random V maxes that I think they're going to do. I think the recipe that they're going to follow is one of the V maxes that we're missing from, like, you know, the general, you know, Gigantamax um, from the Heat, uh, what's it called? Mel Metal and Heat Arena and all that other stuff. And then we're going to get one random V max. And I think this is the random one. But as far as him, once again, I think he might fall in the chamber where they might come back to him later down the line to give him a character rare. But as far as this say, I think he only gets this rarity and then the full art treatment. 
Um, same thing with the he he ran V Max. I think he gets this rarity and then the rainbow. So I'm completely fine with that. Um, this isn't one of those ones that I'm necessarily like you know sad that's not gonna get another special treatment just because he's not that big of a fan favorite at least not to me. But overall, still a cool card nonetheless. Um, so now we're to the V Star ones and we got Lily Gam V and the V Star. Um, so this one right here, every single set of the recipe I've kind of been noticing with the V-Stars is that they're going to get, the box star is going to get the V-Star and they're going to get one random one of, you know, V-Star also in the set. Um, this one, it does get the five man, you know, regular, regular, you know, art, but I don't think it gets anything special. Um, at least, I don't, yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, I think this card only gets this and it gets the full art treatment. Um, the Lilligan V-Star, I think it only gets the regular V-Star and the Rainbow. Um, other than that, I mean, I don't have anything else to say about those two cards. They're not really, like, my favorite, but I can see somebody out there liking them. Um, we got Cleaver and Cleaver V-Stars. Same thing as Lilligan. I think he gets a full art and he gets a Rainbow. Other than these two rarities, I don't think they get anything special. Um, this one would also be, like, if I had to, like, you know, make, like, a third choice after, like, you know, the Luxray or the Jirachi. Third choice to, you know, get something nice. I think this one would fall under that. And, of course, Lilligant and both of them are obviously in the same chamber to get her character rare down the line in the high class sets. But as far as this set, I think they only get, like, the basic treatments. So now we're to the box legendaries. And we're going to start with Dogla. And, dude, uh, it's just a 5 in graphic. It's nothing major. But like I said, they definitely grew on me. Uh, these Pokemon were really ugly when I first saw them leaked. But the more I see them, the more I kind of get, you know, what's going on. Um, but as far as the V, I'm pretty sure, like I said, if I was a betting man, and this is full prediction, not yet um, official. But luckily, we don't have to wait that long for it to be official now that I think about it. Because um, probably starting next week, we're going to start getting, you know, random, um, you know, what's it called? What do they call them? Presentations of like the, like the rarities and all this stuff. That's usually what Pokemon does. They kind of release certain rarities. You know, they kind of showcase them um, all the way up to the release. So we're probably going to see a lot of these sooner than later. But um, going back to the topic, though, uh, Dalga, I think he gets the this art, the full art treatment, and he gets the alternate art. I think he, I think this one gets the alternate art, um, and I think it's going to be beautiful, obviously, because it's a legendary Pokemon. Who doesn't want to see a legendary Pokemon as an alternate art? So... Um, that's my prediction for the regular V. Uh, v Star, I think it gets the regular treatment and what's it called? The rainbow treatment and the gold treatment. Just like how every other, you know, box art, you know, card for the what's it called? Um, this These sets have been getting. Um, back then, the V Maxes, the box art, V Maxes used to get a crazy alternate art. Um, I mean, example, Rayquaza. Um, but. They've kind of, you know, leaned away with that. And I do think they're just going to keep on doing the gold treatment, which is absolutely fine with me. The only reason I don't like the gold treatment is because they don't go shiny in there. Um, but I've also noticed that any gold Vs and up aren't shiny. They're just regular Vs. So, you know, it's kind of what to expect. Um, but I'm okay with the fact that, you know, it just gets a gold treatment. I'm, I'm okay with that. All right. And then going to the Palkia, which is, I don't know. Out of all these, I think Palkia will probably be my more favorited one. Um, just because I am, I know I, I pick Pearl over Diamond, but that's just, you know, me. Um, but this is the regular V. I think it does get the full art and does get the alternate art treatment. So I'm pretty excited for that. And then same thing with the V-Stars, the Dalga. I think it gets the regular art, Rainbow, and the Gold Art. Um, overall, I'm really excited. I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm really excited if they do bring back the alternate art treatments just because I think character rares are obviously amazing. But they probably should keep those two, like, you know, like a, you know, high class, you know, type of thing. Um, if they keep on releasing character rares throughout the sets this year, we're probably not going to catch up anytime soon. Because um, as of right now, I think we've, you know, people have done the math and we're going to get 30 for the next three main sets over here in the United States or English in general. So if they keep on dropping character rares already in these sets. I think we're going to fall back to behind that it won't make sense. So I think that, you know, character rares aren't gone, but I think they're going to hold off until the uh, high class says that later down the line. Um, but overall, um, like I said, I'm really excited for them to keep alternate arts. Um, I am sad that, you know, we're probably not going to see a V Max 
in an alternate for a while. Um, that is pretty sad, but I think we'll be fine. But Pokemon always finds a way to catch us off guard, so watch them end up releasing like a set that revolves around a V Max instead of a V Star, and then we get our character, uh, what's called alternate V Star back. I mean V Max back, but who knows? Who knows? You know what I'm saying? Um, but overall, um, I'm really excited. I'm probably, I'm gonna be honest, I'm probably not gonna open up the Japanese version of these. I'm gonna just wait for Astral Radiance. So there's that. But overall, I mean, obviously, you know, we gotta talk about it because, you know, that's what our sets revolve around is the Japanese versions of them. But overall, I am excited. Let me know down below if you guys think I'm tripping about like, you know, like the whole rarities and all that stuff. Let me know down below if you guys think I'm tripping about like the character rares. Let me know if you guys think that character rares are gonna be you know, like the main thing going on and that I'm tripping about full or alternate arts. But overall, or also, you know, comment down below, which ones do you guys think are going to be the ultra arts treatments? Um, like I said, I'm banking on the Sneasel evolution and the Wilder. But I mean, who do you guys think? Do you guys think it is going to be that Jirachi? Or do you guys think it is going to be, you know, uh, what's it called? The uh, Luxray or Orangaroo? Either way, let me know, boys, down below. And I definitely do see a hit. Um, my team is just a regular V. Hey, Zerud with a water energy, not to match. But hey, we finally got a hit on one of our videos. I have been getting dope ass hits in like shorts, but hey, we finally got one in a video. So hell yeah. But boys, with all that being said, we gone.